ladies and gents, assalamu alaikum. This is Jennifer Latifa, and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm gonna talk to you about 12 perfumes for 12 different months. Please stay tuned and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. Thanks so much. All right, so the first one I'm going to talk to you about is obviously the month of January. And um, first of all, I live in a hot climate, a warm, uh, very hot, dry desert, Southern California. And so um, I'll just go accordingly with how it is for my months here. We still get like really cold, uh, icy type weather. You know, sometimes the water will have turned to ice and maybe sometimes we'll get a little bit of snow, but for the most part, we don't. And so, um, yeah, I'll just go according to my kind of months and what makes me feel cozy in those months. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is by Aaron, and this one is called Tangier Vani. This is one of my favorite Oriental Vanilla fragrances. It's so beautiful. It's like a play doughy type vanilla if you don't like that kind of vanilla you won't like this it's a, a little balsamic and powdery and oh, it's just really really good so the notes are vanilla bergamot rose amber sandalwood and musk and it really is divine people say that amber fragrances i mean Aaron fragrances don't really last long but I have to disagree because I have a few of them and I think that they last beautifully, um, especially maybe if not on skin, then on clothes for sure, but they last well on my skin too. So again, that's Erin Tangier Vini. The next one I'm gonna talk to you about is uh, by Guerlain and it's Mont Guerlain and that's for the month of February and so it's really cold here in January and February. It's like really cold. And this just kind of reminds me of February anyways, I guess probably with like that lavenderish pink color. And it's like one of my very top favorite fragrances of life. I mean, I wore it even as signature for a while and I adore it. <laughs> it's aromatic and vanilla and balsamic. It's a little, a little bit woody and it's floral so the notes are lavender and bergamot and jasmine and rose and iris i always say and a lot i need to cut that out <laughs> tahitian vanilla tonka bean benzoin sandalwood and patchouli it's stunning and i love it so much and if you haven't smelled it i don't know what you're up to Okay, so the next one would be for the month of March. Here in March, it's still pretty chilly. Sometimes it will get warm, but for the most part, it's still chilly, especially at night still. And uh, I'm gonna talk to you about a fragrance that I think works well really in all weather, and I love it even in the heat. I think it's beautiful. And so this fragrance is by Guerlain, and it's called Long Ideal Cologne. And yes, this is a uh, base towards men. It's geared towards men, but I love it. And I think women can wear it. I think it's perfectly unisex. It's citrusy and almond and it's got, it's aromatic and fresh, spicy, sweet, nutty, beautiful. And the notes are orange and bergamot and grapefruit and red berries or I mean, excuse me pink peppers almond vetiver it's got musk and neroli and i love it i love it so much i put it on tonight actually it's i love it and i don't know i think it's discontinued but i think you can still find it kind of easily so you might want to pick it up quickly and so cheap too, it's like $20 a bottle. I should probably get a backup, honestly. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk to you about is by Mugler, 
And this one is called Angel Ucrossier. And this is the 2018 edition, I believe. Yes. So, um, oh, I love this one. I want to spray it. It's very sweet and fruity. This is for the month of April, by the way. And it's tropical, citrus, um, and a slightly woody, very slightly woody. And, so, and the notes are grapefruit and mango, uh, sorbet. It's got, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I went off page here. It's got praline and patchouli, and it's got black currants. And I really do love it. You could smell the mango strong and um, just, it's beautiful. And look at the bottle. I want to collect all of these, honestly. Love it. Okay, so for the month of May, it's starting to get hot here. Uh, April is like, we, if we're lucky, we start to get a little rain. And also in May, if we're lucky, we don't get a lot of rain in Southern California. I wish we did. Um, but so anyways, yeah, because California is a super dry state and that's why it's always on fire. Uh, anyways, so the next one I'm going to talk to you about is by Dior for the month of May. And that's, this one is called Pure Poison. Ladies, men love this one. It's like a huge compliment getter. And I mean, I, I've even seen a lot of reviews with men and doing their, you know, with their girls or whatever and they're rating fragrances and I always see like time after time I've seen men pick this one as number one and okay so some of the notes are well first of all it's a white floral it's just like a white floral bomb like it's one that you want to throw on after you get out of the shower and run errands or if you're wearing like a dress or you're going out to like a picnic or anything like that outdoorsy, it's going to give beautiful sillage. It lasts forever. And it's like I say, white floral bomb. So if you do not like floral, stay away from this. And I mean, just really, it's like pure, pure, uh, pure, bleh. it's pure poison is what it is, but it's really pure white florals. Like that's really all I get from it. Um, and it's got notes of orange and it's got bergamot and jasmine. It's got sandalwood and cedar and amber. Hmm. It's got musk, orange blossom and gardenia. I definitely smell the gardenia, very gardenia strong in this one. Okay, next is for the month of June, and it's starting to get really hot here in June. And the next one that I chose for that one is by Valentino, and it's called Born in Roma. This one is beautiful. I'm going to spray it too. I think you can wear this one all year round too, but I think it really is great in the heat. It really is. Um, I bought this like right when it first came out, like the very next day that USA got it and it was even warm then and it was beautiful and now I just remembered about it yesterday it was like in the back of my collection and I'm gonna start wearing this one a lot more right now it's woody and vanilla and floral spicy very soft spicy and fruity I can smell it it, it lasts a very long time and the sillage on this one is really good I've gotten a lot of compliments on it uh, when I was wearing it last year, it's got black currant and vanilla and bergamot. It's got pink pepper and jasmine. It's got jasmine tea and cashmere, guyac wood and vanilla. It's beautiful. I love this one and I love this bottle. Okay, so the next one is for the month of July. And this one is by Balenciaga, and this one is called Flora Botanica. This is really my favorite bottle in my collection, I think. This, like, kind of deco, art deco type, it kind of reminds me of, like, an Andy Warhol fragrance if Andy Warhol, like, created a bottle. Oh my gosh, I love this bottle. <sighs> okay, so 
This is a floral green fragrance. It's really beautiful. Um, if you don't like floral, stay away from it because it's really like Flora Botanica. It's like you're walking in, you know, a garden. You're sitting in a garden on the mor in the morning time with the little dew on the roses. And you can smell like the green stems too. Like you can literally smell like every part of the rose or and the flowers on a whole. It's gorgeous. So <laughs> it's aromatic and green, like I said, and it's got rose in it. It's woody. It's got cannabis in it. It's got mint, carnation, vetiver, and it's got amber. And you can smell the cannabis in it if you know what cannabis smells like and if you know notes. And of course, I know what cannabis smells like. I live in Southern California. It's legal in California. So I'm not, I'm not done to that. And Minty. I like the mint in it too. If the mint and the cannabis didn't set it off, I probably wouldn't like this one, but I do. And I love the bottle. Even if I didn't like it, I would never sell it just because the bottle is amazing. Okay. Uh, now we're moving to August and August is literally one of our hottest months here. And the one I'm choosing for that is uh, Soleil de Janeiro. This one's really beautiful, guys, ladies, gents. <laughs> and it's vanilla and caramel. It smells like a suntan lotion, uh, but not sunblock, like suntan lotion, like a very expensive Brazilian woman. Well, a Brazilian woman wearing very expensive sun tan lotion. She just got out of a tanning bed and it's just, it's amazing. It's nutty and almond sweet. It's got notes of pistachio and almond heliotrope. I love heliotrope. Heliotrope does amazing things and fragrances. Jasmine. It's got, <clears throat> gosh, I keep going back and forth. I'm sorry I'm on my uh, iPad and I keep clicking out of the notes. I apologize. It's got caramel and sandalwood. It's beautiful. I love this one and it's strong. It's it's a beast. <laughs> like you and it lasts all day. Oh my gosh, especially on clothes. And it's also got salt in it. But this is not like a real salty fragrance. I love salty fragrances and this one is not like one that would real the salt would really stand out in it. And the bottle is so beautiful. And I always love when they do in the invisible dipstick, if they'll take it that extra, you know, that extra limit and give us that invisible dipstick. It's just so beautiful. Okay, so we are moving to the month of September. It's starting to cool down here a little bit and maybe it's moving into the 80s. Um, and so I am choosing for this one, Narciso Poudre. I love this so much. Thank you, Moon, for referring this to me. And thank you, Ollie's mom, for making me pull the trigger. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, it's considered a, wor a woody floral musk. Sorry, I can't spoke tonight. And it's woody and white floral and slightly musky. Well, it is musky, but it's like a powder musk. It smells like doll heads. That's what I always say. Like it reminds me of my Cabbage Patch Kids from when I was young. And it's aromatic and floral. And it's got notes of rose and orange blossom, jasmine. It's got tonka bean and musk and obviously musk because it's a narciso vetiver patchouli and cedar if i didn't say that already i love this one it's perfect for year round i wear it a lot right now too like i can't put it down i'm wearing it at least once a week right now and 
Yeah, I change my fragrances a lot throughout the day anyways, or I'll wear like three or four or five or six at a time in multiple places on my body just so, I don't know, because I'm just obsessed with fragrances. That's really what it comes down to. So, um, the next one is going to be for the month of October. Finally, it is getting cold here and we might even be seeing some rain again. And the fragrance I choose for this is by MAC and this one is called Velvet Teddy. And it's beautiful. It's an oriental fragrance. It's got honey, it's aromatic and warm spicy with some balsamic in it. It's very sweet. It's like pipe tobacco in this one. And the honey is really good. It's got uh, notes of bergamot and ginger and, and, and. I should put like a little counter up on how many times I say and. Tobacco blossom, mimosa, it's got vanilla orchid, honey, musk, papy papyrus, and tonka bean. I love it. For those that are scared of tobacco, don't be scared of this. Um, I have, you know, a friend that really doesn't like tobacco. Uh, hi, Elise, Curious Perfumer, the Curious Perfumer. I'm gonna link everybody I talked about down below. And um, yeah, she loves this one. It's beautiful. So if you, like I say, if you are afraid of tobacco, you can start right here if you really are curious to try tobacco. Okay, the next one I'm gonna to talk to you about is my birth month, which is the month of November, the best month. <laughs> and also uh, fall is my favorite season, autumn, sorry, excuse me. And this one is by uh, Paco Rabanne, and this one is Olympia Intense. I love to wear this around, you know, my birthday and at the end of the month. Just all times of the month, really. It's got vanilla and amber. It's balsamic, salty and powdery. And this really is, it just smells like Olympia, but really intensified. And I love it. Um, I honestly do like this one more than the original. Sometimes I'll go back and forth as to which one I like more. But this one is more beast. And I love it more. So it's got notes of salt and amber and vanilla. That's it. And it's amped up, like I say, Olympia. And, but some people like Olympia, but they don't like Olympia Intense. Um, I like both of them, but this one is better. Okay, we're moving on to our final month, the month of December. And in, for us, our coldest months are um, December, January, February, and half of March. So, and the perfume I chose for this one is probably a, something everybody wears. It's very popular, and uh, if you don't have it, you should have it. And unless you don't like patchouli, can anybody guess what I wrote? If so, comment below. What What did I choose? For the month of December, that is very uh, strong on patchouli. And the answer is Mugler Angel Muse. <laughs> so popular. It's woody and it's got patchouli, earthy and warm spicy. And it's very aromatic. It's an oriental vanilla. Another one of my, I mean, my favorite kind of fragrance anyways. And so this one's got notes of grapefruit, pink pepper, hazelnut, cocoa spread, vetiver, and patchouli. It's beautiful. This is the EDP. I also have the EDT, and that one's good all year round, but really you want to stick to this one in the cold months. Otherwise, you're going to gag yourself out. You just will. So those are... 12 months, uh, one fragrance for each month, month designer edition. And I hope you liked the video. 
Please don't forget again to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope all is well and stay blessed.